Okay, Link Micro. We got a <laughs> we got um, something really interesting here. It's a uh, aftermarket uh, Rolex Mariner dial. I found this on uh, AliExpress. I was looking for Seiko dials. They said you could get this Seiko dial with an R logo, and. Uh, so I said, I wonder what that means. And, you know, sure enough, it's an aftermarket Rolex. So I got it on a um, NH38A, uh, no date. And that's interesting. Something else I've figured out about this, you can, um, you can actually zoom in a little bit with the monitor. You can see the printing isn't as great on, you know, aftermarket stuff. Let's see how far we could zoom out on this. And that's about it for this lens. Um, there's also, you know, this M, it's probably some type of manual you could change what it does, how it's displayed, monitor. Then we have okay, which I don't know what's okay. It looks like that starts the recording and stops the recording. Oh. So that's interesting, goes from camera. Maybe that's, you take a photo, pop. It goes back to video, and then you do record, stop. So I'll probably have a bunch of videos and photos when I take this HDMI cable, or when I take out the, the memory chip. Um, so let's, let's get real here. Okay. When you're looking at this stuff aftermarket, you know, that's what it looks like. Now you want to see the real deal. Take my GMT. And you can just see how crisp. That is, you know. You can zoom in on. Uh, we got a sand. We have a serif bezel here. really nice, really close up on, on what's happening with this watch. Super impressed with the lens. Um, I like everybody to take close look at the rivet right there on the second hand. Rolex always makes a really nice tight rivet and yeah, aftermarket stuff, even if it's a good, you know, fake watch, that rivet will be a little bit bigger. I know they've been making it a little bit more exact lately, um, but you know, it's a telltale sign. Um, this watch was something that I purchased that needed a new dial. And apparently the guy had it for sale saying it was defective because the L in the Rolex had a, had a little break in the paint. You know, that's not really something you could see with the naked eye. So uh, thank you, Link Micro, for, uh, you know, proving this to be, to be true.
All right, so let's attach some more lenses. This is lens A with a 12 millimeter to 320 millimeter object distance. Let's try out the new lens. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Times Radical. Today, I received this digital microscope uh, from the manufacturer. It's called uh, Link Micro, and this model is the LM two four six ms dash hdmi it's a seven inch it costs 179 bucks they have a few of these um go from 149 to 279 and i did think that these were more expensive that's why i never really looked into getting one on my own and so i'm giving link micro a big shout out for helping me out with this video and hopefully upgrading my channel um, so I can get you better angles and closer views. I also have a new video coming up from Namoki. We'll be sponsoring my next video, um, doing a nice build. So I'm super happy about that. Some good stuff to look forward to. And so this is the user's manual and you know, as you can see, this is just has a remote control. I'm going to have to set this thing up, but yeah, essentially you can really zoom in on things you're working on. So we got the components list, user manual. A uh, nice display screen. We have the remote. We have the hardware and connecting. Comes with a HDMI um, memory card. So I was curious if this thing could record as well as a uh, zoom in so i'm grateful that it can record here is uh, one of the lenses this focuses at um four to five millimeters distance the other lens focuses in at 90 millimeters to 300 millimeters so we can do some nice shots close up appears to be a light and we further open up the box to where we have more connecting cables on off switch for the lights we have the post and the arm here that holds the microscope as well as the stand with its lights. So let's set this thing up and we'll get a couple close-ups on uh, some watches. Appreciate y'all watching and hanging in there with me. Uh, while you know my channel develops, it's been a, kind of a long journey for me with the slow growth going through the uh, components list and assembly steps. So step one, assemble. Wow, look at this. It even comes with another lens right here. Uh, 12 to 330 millimeters. So it's nice. We have
It says, be careful not to drop the lens. So yeah, look at that. It's probably the sensor reads it. There we go. Wow, everything fits pretty snug. And the pieces need to be screwed all the way out and back in. But that's great. I mean, look at that. And you know, these pieces fit so well. This lens fits good, tracks right in. Wow, how cool is that? Also, we have a little lens cover, seems like. Maybe lens case, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, so this is a backlight. Okay, so we got our basic assembly down. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, what the hell is this? We get it comes with some slides. We have like a animal eye compound. I mean, Jeez, I mean, what are these things? Pine stem. Epidermis of an onion. Honeybee wing. Honeybee worker leg. And, uh, you know, musca domestica compound eye loading. So... I'll finish setting this up and then we'll take a peek at what this uh, bad boy has to offer. So apparently with this, there is a, a video demonstration with a QR code. So we can check that out.
Okay, moment of truth. Welcome. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Is that close enough for you? I think so. You can really see how filthy my watch is. Pretty dope. Um, so I have a little critiquing to do. We basically have this knob, which will raise and lift the lens. That's what you'll focus in on. You have this adjustment here, which you can slide back and forth. And then, you know, you can use this one to raise it. And also we can turn this around, which I'll probably do a lot, just so you can, you know, see my bench instead of the platform. Um, the, the display screen tilts. I like that. Get a good look at it. And the one thing is the lens doesn't tilt. So it's just fixed going straight down, which is fine, but it would be nice to get like, um, you know, different angles. But these lights turn on, looks like there's brightness, can be controlled. And I guess if you don't want the lights, you just move them over. Um, so that's pretty much it. They, so simple, the HDMI is here. You push it in, it pops out. Snap it back in, log, locks in. One cable here leads to the controls. If you don't want to deal with the controls, there's a single cable that just powers the monitor. If you don't want these lights. And then there is another cable here. I believe um, it's a high speed cable if you want a bigger monitor, something like that. That's really good. So overall, I'm super happy with it. Um, I'm gonna try some different lenses and we'll get some close-ups on some watches. Okay, Link Micro. We got, a, <laughs> we got um, something really interesting here. It's a uh, aftermarket uh, Rolex Mariner dial. I found this on uh, AliExpress I was looking for Seiko dials. They said you could get this Seiko dial with an R logo. And uh, so I said, I wonder what that means. And, you know, sure enough, it's an aftermarket Rolex. So I got it on a um, NH38A, uh, no date. And that's interesting. Something else I've figured out about this, you can, um, you can actually zoom in a little bit with the monitor. You can see the printing isn't as great on, you know, aftermarket stuff. Let's see how far we could zoom out on this. And that's about it for this lens. Um, there's also, you know, this M, it's probably some type of manual. You could change what it does, 
how it's displayed, monitor. Then we have okay, which I don't know what's okay. It looks like that starts the recording and stops the recording. Oh, so that's interesting, goes from camera. Maybe that's you take a photo, pop. It goes back to video and then you do record, stop. So I'll probably have a bunch of videos and photos when I take this HDMI cable or when I take out the, the memory chip. Um, so let's, let's get real here, okay? When you're looking at this stuff aftermarket, you know, That's what it looks like. Now you wanna see the real deal. Take my GMT. And you can just see how crisp. That is, you know. can zoom in on uh, we got a sand we have a serif bezel here really nice really close up on on what's happening with this watch super impressed with the lens um i like everybody to take close look at the rivet right there on the second hand rolex always makes a really nice tight rivet and yeah aftermarket stuff even if it's a good, you know, fake watch, that rivet will be a little bit bigger. I know they've been making it a little bit more exact lately, um, but you know, it's a telltale sign. Um, this watch was something that I purchased that needed a new dial. And apparently the guy had it for sale saying it was defective because the L in the Rolex had a, had a little, break in the paint you know that's not really something you can see with the naked eye so uh thank you link micro for uh you know proving this to be to be true all right so let's attach some more lenses this is lens a with a 12 millimeter to 320 millimeter object distance Let's try out the new lens. Okay, I found out something new. While I was going to change the lens, we're actually focusing turning this. So you can get your you know approximate distance here. Then once you got that correct, you can do your adjustment. So It's pretty cool. I like to get the whole watch in there. This is a great lens for getting in close. I'll be using that a lot. Let's see this L lens. This lens was 12 to 320 millimeters. Now we have this new lens, which is 90 to 300. So 
So, you know, we're not really focused here. Maybe we're not 90 millimeters away. I don't know. This is really close up, even though it's, you know, further away. So that's where, you know, we're really gonna get the most detail. I mean, that's a little bit more than I need, but I'll take it. And we'll see what this D lens is. Got the D lens, four millimeters to five millimeter distance. If anybody really knows what this means, then you know, let me know because I I'm just using it. Wow, look at that. Okay, and we're checking out that loom. Let's see if we can get the uh, seconds hand swoop. Boom. All right, here we go. Bam. That's crazy. Okay, so appreciate y'all watching. I tried the three lenses. We're zoomed in on, on all this stuff we got here. Um, you know, maybe a little bit more than we need to, but that's what we're doing here. Wow. So, you know, appreciate y'all for watching and uh, catch you later. Keep radical. Time's radical. Boom.